In this video, I'm going to tell you a tale of testosterone, manipulation, loneliness, and mental illness. It involves a former friend of mine. He had broken up with his girlfriend. They were together for several years. Most of that time, they lived together. And like many relationships, it came to an end. There had been problems over the years, and I'm going to jump through some stuff to get to the main point because there's only so much you want to hear me talk. She was going out of town, and he, as a favor, stayed to watch their cats. He also had a lot of his stuff there built up over the years and he was gonna just hang she was gonna be there so whatever fast forward to a week later he went to his parents and he had come back into town to see a client he decided to stop by at the apartment to pick up a couple things and retrieve something he left in a drawer or so he claimed to me going into that drawer was a fateful as he said movie like experience because when he opened that drawer it was like focus on the contents of the drawer and then zoom in on the look of shock and horror on his face back and forth what he discovered was condoms though not his size. The larger ones. He was an average guy. I never saw, but that's what he said. He freaked out a bit. Wrote some note for her to discover when she got back later on had to carry on and meet up with his client do his thing they were in communication regarding his note and his discovery he was devastated but somehow oddly drawn to her there's that testosterone that competitiveness Damn you, testosterone. You can be so wicked. He had a lengthy online chat with her while she was at work. It became sexually explicit. He told me it was like one of the most erotic scenarios, non-sexual directly, he had been involved with. She alluded to the fact that she never said she wouldn't have sex with him again. Because he said something to the effect of, well, you don't think of me that way. And he meant something else. But she took it as sex. Now, they did, had problems for years in their relationship and one of those issues was sex he wasn't getting it and because he's a good guy or a schmuck he didn't cheat anything like that some guys you know so she was offering this possibility now he was incredibly attracted to her as many many men 
were. And so she left that opening of a no strings attached kind of situation of an arrangement. So what did he do? He went for it. He stopped by to get some more things before he went to meet up with a friend. And she somewhat unexpectedly showed up because he thought she wasn't going to be around. And one thing led to another. He stayed over and the next morning the arrangement began. So for the next few months or so he would see her staying away but coming to date her and visit her but here's the worst part he discovered where the other guy's stash of condoms were and he would look and he would see the progress of their sexual encounters like he was there 10, 12, whatever days before, and they were like eight. Then two or three, whatever days later, because he had to stop by to get something, and there would be a couple of gone. That poor bastard. Ah, because of manipulation, testosterone, loneliness some mental illness on both sides I guess the things that can happen human relationships can be so complicated anyway I hope this guy is doing better because better is vastly underrated